Hey, when Ben come back, I don't know. Hey guys, how are you doing? Oh, okay, goodbye. Hello everyone, my name is Ben Serena and I am also known as the Films Ben Z on YouTube and every other website out there. Today we're going to make an aluminum foil starfish. To get started, take out your aluminum foil. I'm not affiliated with this brand in any way. Now take out your aluminum foil. And choose any corner that you want. This one. And do what I just did. And do it to every other corner possible, but make sure to make five. Can you see it? Good. See it? Good. And what do you know? We're all finished! Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's a giraffe. So as a bonus for learning what I just did, I hope you did, we get to learn how to do a dinosaur. I don't mean to be very childish, I'm just trying to be funny. Anyway, Take out another sheet of aluminum foil. Yeah, I know you know that. Just try to be repetitive. Unlike last time, it's going to be more difficult. Now pay attention to what I do, and I'll show you much more up close. Hopefully, I can get more up close because I'm uh, at the edge of my desk. Yeah. And I doubt I'll be able to reach forward more. Hopefully I can reach it forward more. See what I'm doing? I left some of the top unfolded. So what you gotta do is find a bottom like this and just make a lip out of it. Can you see it? Cause I sure can't. And see this thing? It looks like a crescent moon, doesn't it? I hope you can see it. And just crush it like this. Now my favorite type of dancer is a plesiosaur, you know, the one that looks like a Loch Ness Monster. Well, it is a plesiosaur after all. So anyway, I'm going to give it a long neck, just like the um, brachiosaur or a bethosaur, whatever you call it. I don't know much my dancers anymore. Although I can know most of the basic dinosaurs. you like a long neck? It looks like the Nessie picture, the most famous of them all, doesn't it? See? 
See this flipper? It says hi to you. You can see he's put it flat. I mean, um, just flatten it. All I have to do is just flatten it. Like that. Just make a big fluffy balloon foil fat and just flatten it if you know what I'm talking about. And make and make more of those. At least three more. Now I'd like to present to you some history of how I started making these aluminum foil creatures. So it all started back when I was in elementary school and I thought I was the first to make these aluminum foil creatures when I first made an armless penguin all on my own at lunchtime. It was quite strange. I just took someone's aluminum foil and made it an armless penguin. And Man, I was like the first one that I thought. And am I being repetitive when I say that? I don't know. Basically, I thought I was the first one. Turns out the other people were doing it too, but my family thought I was the first one, basically. Okay, enough of that. There were other people doing it too, and they um were just not nearly as impressive as mine, apparently. You have to know what I'm talking about. I made some aluminum foil creatures, but um, you saw the ones I knocked off the... Oh, speaking of which, um, yeah, speaking of which... Before I get to that, those creatures, those are probably more paid attention to, the ones I made in the beginning. And speaking of which, yeah, now I'll get to that. Here's a little cameo. Featuring Godzi and Gamry. Say hello, guys. Hello. Alright, guys. I mean, everybody. Nice seeing all of you. Bye-bye. What are you doing here? Leave! Leave!